Hey everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for another video of Suzerain. We're gonna continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and focused a lot on what is gonna happen, right? The after parts of the party, where there was an assassination attempt. Well, actually, a successful assassination attempt on an MP called Bernard Circus, a good, well-known uh, writer. So... Uh, he ended up being a, he's a communist and he got shot apparently by a member of the uh, right uh, wing boys. So that is not good right here. Uh, we've got two political ideals uh, crashing against each other. I'm in the middle trying to trying to calm things down internally. And in the meanwhile, I've got a couple of riots here and there because of those things. And uh, we also have the, um, the Rumberg situation, which they started to invade us in Nabal. Or they mobilized and then uh, went straight into my borders with it. I called basically that into a declaration of war. And I'm getting ready to mobilize myself and stuff like that. And to meet them in the combat boys. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Our economy is going down. So that's not good. Uh, we definitely need our economic uh, development to keep going up. But... Uh, there's not a lot I can do right now. I really gotta just focus on my war effort. And you know what war does as well? It upgrades your economy. So it boosts your economy. So maybe that's gonna help me out in the long term. I don't know. We'll see though. Alright, so let's see what we did. After a long day at the palace, I was finally home. I thanked Sergei and walked through the front gates, nodding at the two guards as, uh, as I went by. Even as I turned the door the doorknob, I could hear Dana rushing uh, down the stairs to greet me. I opened the door and there she was, standing in front of me with expecting, uh, expectant eyes. Papa, you're home. There we go. There's my beautiful princess. There, he, there she is. Uh, I lifted Dina up and hugged her while trying to put their keys in the tray next to the entrance. She was growing fast. Lifting her up was no longer as easy as it once was. Uh, how, how was school? Where is your mother? Oof, that's enough of that. You're a big girl now. That, yeah, b b basically, I'm gonna say that. She started laughing. Uh, yeah, I'm a big girl now. I put her down. Expression turns uh, serious. Up, are you? Are the bad men gone? Uh, I w I w it was the only one bad man, Dina. And yes, there he's gone now. Will never, never let you or uh, anyone hurt you. Yes, your papa took care of everything. Uh, yeah, I, I took care of everything. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, dash down the hallway. All right, so Mama Papa's here. Uh, Monica appeared next to the kitchen door. She was wearing an apron and holding a spatula in their hand. She's already cooking. What the hell? Adina, uh, what did I tell you? No running in the house. Yes, Mama. All right, so Monica approached me and kissed me on the cheek. A tantalizing smell wafted from the kitchen behind her. Darling, you shouldn't have. What do we have to uh, cook for? All right, so... Yeah, we do have an actual cook, right? Because I'm in the prison. Now I can have whatever I want. She, it's not necessary for her to do that. I'm hungry. When's dinner? How was your day, dear? Yeah, yeah you shouldn't have done that. We have a cook. I felt like going gro grocery shopping. Just like old times. And besides, she can't make your favorite like I can. Well, we'll see about that. You mean... Yes. Zvabli. What the hell is a Zvabli, boys? Uh, Zvabli was a clock, a classic old sword delicacy. Vegetables and creamy cheap cheese. Sandwiched between thin layers of dough. Ah, that sounds disgusting, boys. What the hell? That's the type of thing my sister would like. Ooh, that sounds really disgusting. I don't like that. Alright, uh, it was absolutely my favorite dish. Absolutely not. Especially paired with Kedvi. I put an unfiltered wine from Bergia. A wine as well? And what am I, a dumbass? That's the uh, complete opposite of me. I don't drink. I don't drink in real life. So that's, ooh, wine? Really? Uh, kiss her on the cheek. It's my lucky day. What's the occasion? I'm just going to kiss her, I guess. Uh, I just wanted to cheer, uh, cheer everyone, uh, everyone up uh, a bit. Her smile faded and she lowered her voice so that Dana couldn't hear. Especially after what happened at the ball. I'm worried, Anton, for you, for the children, for the country. Uh, Dina suddenly appeared next to us. Mama. Yes, sweetheart? I'm hungry. We'll eat in just a minute. Will you help me set the table? 
Anton, can you tell Frank to uh, come down for dinner? He's been sulking in his room, uh, in his room all day. Monica started talking out uh, the china while I headed upstairs to fetch my son. What the hell does that mean? Uh, I, I'm sure she doesn't mean the country. Um, loud rock and roll music. He goes down the hallway. Uh, from his room, I caught a faint hint of a cigarette smoke. Oh, he's starting smoking, really? That's the wrong way of going about rebelling, boys. That's definitely the going wrong way. You want to rebel out? Don't go smoking. Do anything but that. I mean, do some crazy shit. Steal, steal from someone. Bully someone. I don't care. But don't start smoking. That's the worst thing to do. You're just going to start killing yourself slowly by doing that. That's the worst thing to do. Uh, open the door. Knock the door. <laughs> knock on the door. I'm just going to knock a little bit. I'm not. Because opening the door just like that without asking permission to enter is just like... That's a very rude thing to do. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to knock first. There was no response. Knock on the door again. Frank turned down the wreck and then opened the door. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to knock, uh, knock on the door again. There was still no response. Bang on the door? Holy shit. FBI, open up. Alright, I'm just going to say, uh, turn that rack in and open the door. There we go. The stereo in Frank's room clicked off. Alright, alright. He, un he unlocked and opened the door. What do you want? Food is ready. Turn those records up louder next time, won't you? I don't think the neighbors heard. <laughs> That's funny. I I'm your father and you will respond when I ask you. No, I'm not going to say that. And over those cigarettes, enjoy your family for dinner. Turn those records up louder next time. Yeah, exactly. There we go. He started smiling. Uh, there we go. He's just going to, you know, a bit of sarcasm is going to help a little bit with a kid, you know. I'm not going to try and, like, be ag aggressive towards him. In that case, you don't want to be aggressive. You just want to be calm in the situation. You just want to tell him, yes, I'm, you're doing some stupid shit here and just don't do it. That's simple. Uh, Frank headed downstairs to the dining room and I followed after. The table was prepared and Monica was uh, ladling food on the, into the plates. Come on, have a seat. It won't be a taste, uh, as tasty if it's cold. As we started eating, the room went quiet. Monica's cooking was de as delicious as ever, but I had the feeling that wasn't the reason nobody spoke. Monica was the first to break the silence. Say, did you know that they re uh, refurbished the grocery store? I don't know if you remember the owner. He's been there every day for the past 30 years. Can you imagine doing the same job for so long? What if you were president for 20 years, for example? Uh, honestly, would that really be so bad? I'm not going to say that. I mean, you, you kind of always think that way, but you don't want to, you don't want to actually, uh, you don't want that to actually uh, happen because then you just become a dictator. I want this country to suffer under another soul. 20 years of this, I'd be dead. Why not? We could live like kings. I don't know about that. Well, I don't want this country to suffer under another soul. Yeah. Agreed. That, that must never happen again. Anyway, the grocery really ha is a nice person. The grocer, not the grocery. He threw in, in some extra vegetables with my... Frank suddenly sl uh, slammed his hands on the table, rattling the china. Monica and Dina uh, uh, and I started uh, stared at him. The hell is he doing? So this is how it's going to be. We're just going to sit here like nothing's happening. What are you talking about? Dad, you could have been killed. Mom could have been killed. Any one of us could have died. Dina's lower lip started trembling. Monica put her hand on Frank's shoulder. Uh, Frank, you know I would never let anything happen to you or Dina, even if it cost me my life. And what would you have us do exactly? And yes, we're still yet, and yet we're still alive. You will not raise your voice. No, you know what? What exactly you want? To, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna tell him what do you want us to do. Maybe he can give me a solution. Because he seems to be a smartass, he seems to think well, uh, that's an easy job for me to deal and the situation. I don't know. Talk about it, maybe. <laughs> he got up from his seat. Frank, sit down. No, fine. Let's talk about it. Sit down. Frank, where are you going? I guess I I'm just going to say I'm fine. You know, he wants he wants to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's do it. He wants to have a... Took his seat again. It's, it's calling. There we go. If he wants to talk about it, let's talk about it. You want to talk about the murders, the political assassinations? You want to talk about the blood, the gory stuff? 
Let's talk about it. Let's be real for two seconds. If we're gonna be an adult, sure. I know it was so it was a close call. Everything's under control. We're going to be fine. That's bullshit. Uh, do you think I would let us go down so easily? Well, I know it was a close call. But everything's under control. How? How is it under control? You don't need to know the details. My security assured me that they took all the necessary step. It's what it was one rogue shooter. We were not even the target. Exactly. But what we what if we were? Frank, listen to your father. If your father says we don't need to worry, then we don't need to worry. You have to trust him. Monica turned to me. We all have to trust each other. Things calmed down a bit at the table. We finished our food in silence. Frank got up for, uh, first and retreated back to his room. Monica lifted uh, Dina up and uh, plopped her in front of the living room TV before returning to the table. She sat down across from me. Uh, from me. Anthony is still young. I know, but there's much long, uh, There's not much longer be, uh, we can shield him from the ugliness of the world. Exactly. If he wants to know about it. Uh, that's what worries me. I made plenty of rash decisions when I was his age. My father wouldn't have given me hell for that kind of insubordination. <laughs> I don't think he would, boys. Oh, I don't think I would uh, allow that to happen. So, uh, nope. I know, uh, but it's not much... Yeah, we can't hide anything from him any, any longer. If he wants to learn, let him learn. That's the biggest way of... That's the best way of him learning stuff. It's just g let him uh, throw his wings out. Uh, he's scared, Anton, and frankly, he isn't the only one. I'm prom I promise if I truly... If there is uh, any threat to his family, you will be the first to know. All you all you need to know, worry about is putting more delicious dinner on the table. That bullshit. I worry too. Things might escalate. Escalate. Look, I promise. There's if there's any threat to this family, I'll tell you. All right. Uh, first thing, there is this thing about the border uh, situation. There's a war coming out, but don't worry about that. Uh, she got up, stood behind me, and ma massaged my shoulders for a moment before leaving me alone for in the di dining room. I sat alone at the table and drained my glass of chip, uh, kebji. Now, I ha had I been lying to Frank and Dina? Was the threat to my family truly over? Of course it is. The threat to my family is over. It's the external threat, not the internal one I gotta uh, deal with right now. Time will tell. Alright, so we got a saving game right here. We got some news, so a different day. Protest across Sorland. Protest erupted around Sorland after the death of Bernard. Not good. Protest in Gruny. And we got political chaos. Political violence has surrounded Sorland since yesterday. While officials from the police claim that uh, to have the situation under control, protests are turning into riots and violence attacks are occurring across the country. It seems like uh, things are escalating quite quickly, uh, quickly, boys. I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do in, to the, in order to calm the situation. But I think a war is the best thing to do against a sovereign nation. Uh, just to calm things down and help mobilize everybody together, right? Uh, like get everyone together against some, a common enemy. So everybody needs to have a common enemy. If I, if the Umberg is the Romberg is the one... That's fine by me, you know. We need to have a common enemy uh, in order to join each other right now. So, end the uh, end of the day of the Maroon Palace. Uh, we also have a decision, so react to the unrest. Let's see what we can do about the unrest right now. We got to do something. The political situation around the country has escalated. Chief strategist Lucian Galati has prepared several action plans that we can execute. What will we do to address the intens intensify intensifying political climate? All right, so we got a couple of chants. Call for the rest for restraint on national television. Uh, visit uh, affected towns in person. Label all protesters as uh, traitors. I'm not going to do that. Expand the police by deploying all recruits and training. That's only going to escalate thing any uh, further, boys. Uh, further. Uh, re reject reject the plans. Well, if I don't do anything, it's only gonna be bad. And I don't think television is gonna help too much. I'm gonna go there in person. I'm just gonna visit the towns in person. They're gonna see that. Look, I'm there. I take this personally. I take this seriously. And I'm there. I'm I'm serious about this. So let's visit them in person. There you go. Saves the game. And uh, now that we what what do we do? So old for end of the day at the Maroon Palace. What do we do right here? So turn two. I visited the towns most affected by the political violence to show our presence and support. Exactly. There we go. Uh, next up, finally, end of the day. 
Let's see what we got. I was late in the it was late in the evening. The maroon palace was finally getting somewhat quiet when I returned to my office at the top. I eagerly approached my chair and sprawled out on it. It has been uh, it had been an exhausting exhausting day, just like every uh, every day since I took the office. Uh, light a cigarette? Absolutely not. Pour some whiskey? Absolutely not. Lean back and relax. I'm just gonna prepare to go home. There we go. Forced myself out of the chair to gather my jacket and briefcase. I really needed to take some time uh, for my family. Quickly glanced out the window before leaving. Sergey and the guards were outside by the main gate as usual. I heard a couple of knocks on the door. My secretary, Livia Suno, entered. Mr. President, Mr. Tux is here, uh, Tusk is here to see you. You had a meeting with the Lauterberg spokesman. I'm so sorry for not giving you your proper notice. Late, uh, late notice right there. Don't worry about it. Do your job properly next time. I was just about to leave. Maybe we can postpone the meeting. All right, don't worry about it. I, I got a meeting. It's fine. Let's do it. Thank you for your understanding. Don't worry. Uh, for a moment, Mr. Tusk is swagger, uh, uh, swaggered into the room. I don't know what that means. Uh, I met Sordon's most prominent businessmen once or twice, but never alone. He had the large jewels, blindingly shining shoes, and the hair of someone who was used uh, to getting his way. Okay, so that's the guy probably that was on the phone, right? I need to talk to him because of the investments and stuff, I think. Uh, anything to drink, Mr. Tosswater? Whiskey? Cognac! Preferably from before you were born, sweetheart. Uh, I'll, I'll check the supply room. There we go. Livia backed out of the office, shooting me an apologetic look as she did so. Uh, Walter, uh, Walter hung up his hat, which I could see was lined with mink. He fixed me with a long, hard stare, then broke into a, a, a toothy uh, grin. Good evening, Mr. President. I'm here to congratulate you. We both sat down. My business partners and I wish to you a successful term as a leader of our nation. All right. Thank you, Mr. Tusk. Nod. Get to the point, Mr. Tusk. Why are you really here? Well, thank you, I guess. I had no chance to uh, say this at the ball with all the panic, but we are very much looking forward to work with, uh, working with you. Uh, likewise, why is it that you are really here? No, likewise, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna skip the pleasantries. Let's go into the pleasantries. Let's make this uh, a little bit, you know, a little bit uh, more fun for both of us. I'd like to build a profitable relationship between us. That being said, there are some concerns of mine and the people I represent which I would like to take this opportunity to clear up. I'm listening. And what are these concerns exactly? The ruined state of the economy in Sordon has influenced everyone. Uh, the recession it held all, it all of us are. Uh, well, I agree. Yes, I do agree with that. Uh, Walter pulled out a box of cigars, uh, cigars from his uh, from the jacket. I had these bought from Lesbia, the best cigars in the whole continent. Would you like to try one? Uh, you go ahead. I don't want to smoke. I'd rather not hi uh, No, no, no. I'm not gonna prevent him from smoking, but I'm not gonna smoke. Uh, Walter grabbed himself a cigar and lit it. He looked out towards the city scenery as he puffed, uh, puffed away. I heard you purchased stock from uh, Armadine Industries in Arcasia. Smart buy. They are developing new gadgets that are going to be profitable. Uh, with risk comes reward. I expect a very good return on investments. Exactly. You have a keen eye for business. I do. I really do, buddy. I really do for that. I will buy a couple of I will buy a couple of thousands of shares too to expand my portfolio. Hope the investments pays off for both of us, President. Uh, his eyes wandered away for a moment. You are a you are having a good start to the term for sure. Besides the recent troubles, I'm glad that you have decided to promote the free market, which is the only thing that can get us out of this mess. I, I agree on that part. The free market is probably the only thing that can get us out. Uh, I, I don't think any uh, closed economy is not going to be good for us, boys. We got to get... We, can, we need to be, uh, help from uh, outside interference right there. Uh, we had nothing but uh, trouble so far. The ability of the free market to evolve is hard to dispute. It is good that we can uh, we think a lot on the matter. There we go. To a closer relationship then. One that will bring Sordan out of the crippling recession. He grinned. Uh, the highway investments was a good call, but there was more to gain in the high-speed rail, especially for business logistics. Look, I know about the rail stuff, 
but I think the highway was the right decision right there for the population. I'm doing enough as it is, you know, I can't be going all businessmen all the time. Uh, the England region was in dire need of investment. Our goal was to focus on the need of the people for not businesses. The intention of the administration is to boost the economy. There you go. Uh, we need to boost the economy. So, you know, the right intentions for sure. There, go. there we go. We can both, uh, we can be close allies. The group can help you get uh, Sorland out of the recession, which will be the key problem to solve in your term. And could even determine your re-election. That's right. People always elect the, one that's, uh, the ones that they think are going to help them the most with the economy, boys. That's always how it works. Uh, let's start with a gesture of goodwill. Soon the investments project contact, uh, contract will be awarded, uh, awarded to one of the three main contenders. He pulled a check, uh, a check out of his pocket and sli uh, slid it towards me on the table. Our personal bank details were uh, listed on it with a deposit of 500,000 soldiers ran, ready to be transferred. This was six months of a president's uh, salary. Oh, all right, they're gonna pay me like that? If the contract is somehow awarded to underhaul construction, they will they would not only work hard and deliver, but also do it on time. What do you think, Mr. Rain? Would, uh, wouldn't that be good? He put his index finger on the check. There was a noise by the door. Leva uh, Suno was standing there, holding a tray with a bottle and two glasses. I am so sorry, Mr. Doug, but I could, but all I could find was a 1942 Sevigny. I hope that's acceptable. She quickly put the tray on my desk and walked out, just either as she left. Remind me to visit your office more often. Now, where were we? Do we have a deal? He's basically trying to buy me over. He's trying to literally buy me over, boys, with this. Which, I don't know if it's really a bad thing, to be honest. It's a bribe. Exactly, it's a bribe. It's, it says it right there. Now that we both know you can't do better than that, than that amount. Oh, I could try and play on his own game. I could literally try and play on his own game, boys. Now, I will my... No, I will make my own decisions. Did you just try to bribe the president? If you want to buy me, if you want to bribe me, you got to do a little bit better than that. You got to go all the way if you want to bribe me. Just not, a, not just a little bit. You are right about that. I'll make this fi my, my final offer. He pulled out another check with a smile. This time, a hundred uh, or a million sword of Shren was listed on the piece of paper. Uh, until you come back with a better offer, the answer is no. Here's my final offer. Do not drive me again or you will have to make your deals in the prison cell. I don't care about that. Until you come back with a better offer, the answer is no. You got to give me a better offer than that, my guy. I'm going to play hard hardball. I'll, I'll play hardball with him, boys. Very well then. We will be in touch. I'll sti I, I still think this was a good start for the bene uh, for beneficial partnership in the future. Walter sighed and pulled the check away, putting it in his pocket. Oh, I almost forgot. Please say hello to Mr. Caranti for me. Who is Mr. Caranti? Marcel, Swedish businessman, philanthropist, entrepreneur, who is the son of the famous... Okay, interesting. Why would I say hello for, uh, to him? All right, he smiled. Have a good evening, Mr. President. Walter stood up, grabbed his jacket, and made his way towards the door. As I walked out, I noticed Livia still there, covering up the, uh, her uh, typewriter for the evening. All right, so if I may be so bold, Mr. President, did you, did you accept his offer? What the fuck? Is she spying on me or something? It's going to be a problem. She would have been a problem if I actually accepted, you know? But uh, she's not a problem for now. She's okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to take the bribe, obviously. I'm going to take it only if he's that guy is willing to give me a lot more. A mi even a million is not enough for me. Maybe 10 million, I'll say yes, or 5 million. A, a million? That's not even enough. You got to give me more. You got you to gotta go all the way out if you're going to bribe the president. That's just that's all I'm saying. It's a, it's there. It's available. But, uh, I'm not, I don't have the closed door. Uh, the door closed on it. But I'm not, all, uh, I'm not also just going to get bribed easily like that that is absolutely none of your business of course i didn't how could you even ask me that then even it's true do not ever speak about it again you didn't you didn't see anything of course i didn't how could you even ask me that well this is absolutely none of your business i'm going to be straight up i'm going to be basically a bitch about it but that's just how it is you know it's none of our business
That doesn't concern her. Of course, sorry to intrude. She and I took a moment to look out for uh, over the lights and, uh, of the city before heading to the elevators. There we go. Now she started to ask some questions. I'm gonna have to get rid of her permanently, boys. I can't allow that uh, people like her to question me right there. That's not uh, gonna happen. So read the ro uh, report from America. Local police working with the nationalists. Oh my fucking god. All right. Well, the police are corrupted as hell, boys. There's not a lot I can do. There's a Langbert situation, Conriat, uh, and a uh, whole sorts. I still don't know what's going on. Oh, there it is. What's going on here? Situation report. There we go. What is going on? Ministry of Defense reports that the situation along the border is getting tense. Rumberg's Southern Army was started training close to our borders and did not respond after we issued a radio message. The chiefs of the armed forces, General Kruger, reports to have increased uh, patrolling duties about the no uh, along the nor uh, northern uh, border to say no readiness. Okay, we are definitely gonna have a war, boys. It's gonna happen for sure. All right. So what do we have here? Kemmer suggests expanding executive powers. So the leader of uh, the other party, I guess, uh, has suggested that the new constitution should expand executive powers, adding fuel to the debate over the possibility of reforming the constitution. He pointed out that the current dying situation of Soldan and, uh, and emphasized the need for strong leadership. So uh, executive powers for me, like an Al Palpatine thing, Ooh, that's kind of rough. Reform demands gain popularity. Oh, demand, all right. So demands for reform are gaining more popularity than ever. Latest public opinion uh, reports show that the majority of the Swedish people want changes in the governmental structures that we established after Seoul's military coup. Public trust in the Grand National uh, Assembly and the Supreme Court is at an all-time low. All right, I see. Well, how do we change things? I don't even know how to do that. Workers Party Celebrity March. Well, we got a lot of stuff happening. So what do we what do we have here? Economic uh, the economic plan. We've got a meeting with uh, Karanti, which is the businessman boys. We also have uh, city health finalization on the highway contract. There it is. Finally, after driving through the cliffside roads, we arrived in a Linkburg, a Linker. There's cheerful citizens greeted us in the local government, so officials escorted us to the city hall. Here, a significant meeting about the H3 project would take place. Several uh, construction companies sent their representatives to the city hall. Even though Gus Menger couldn't make the meeting, I have, I had Simon Hall and Lilith Graf by my side. So Simon Hall is the Minister of Economy. Besides starting our economic recovery, the travel time by road will drop by more than half, Mr. President. This project will improve Hangnam region. I have lived with the pe these people and seen them suffer. I trust your plan, Simon. Uh, well, I hope so. Well, I trust your plan, Simon. I am glad to hear that. We should be able to slow down the recession if we finish the, the pro this project slow, uh, successfully. Very really good. I think that's what the recession is. It's getting rid of the economy over time, which is not good. Uh, positive financial outcomes are expected. According to my sources, this can lift many of our pro uh, poverty in these areas. What will it take to stop the recession? What kind of end result do we expect right here? Uh, Short-term employment and long-term economic uh, development in the Nargis and England uh, regions. The undeveloped, city, uh, undeveloped cities of Lenkirk and Arari will uh, receive a lot more investments after this. Uh, Simon searched the documents he was holding and found the one he was looking for. I have the overview of the companies here. Uh, Simon handed the files over to me. Look at the files. I looked at the files. The three corporations were listed. The Swedish Corpor uh, Corporation, Underhall Construction, and Taurus Holdings. Underhall Construction is the one that the guy wanted me to bribe for, right? He wanted me, uh, he wanted me to, uh, to, he wanted me to be bribed for it. So the real estate giant is owned by the mayor of Conrad, Chris Carr. Most people in Sweden know the, the name Underhall by the most iconic buildings they have constructed in nearly all major cities. Sold half of their shares to Walsort Tusk. Sure. Uh, all right. Sold out the breach. Was largely all. All right. So I think they're good. He reduced construction costs and prices, which is very good. What about the Swedish State Corporation? A company with a long and solid track record of accomplishing critical projects. They do accomplish projects. 
Oh, and they've been found it since the, the first time. Oh, interesting. Interesting, boys. So let's see what we got. I reviewed them. I also took the liberty of asking the mayor of Arvory to, gi to give his opinion on the matter. Which corporation should we talk about? Let's talk about the Swordish Corporation first off. Alright, so the respected uh, corporation that's also known as this uh, SSC was founded in, in 1891. It, it's the main state corporation task with running the day-to-day -day construction services of our country. Uh, the C uh, SSC is one of our most trusted and honorable companies. They have served us a long time. I have worked with them on several occasions. Uh, it goes against your election promises of moving away from a state-planned economy. Okay, so uh, part of my uh, promises, I guess, is to not go against it. What does that mean? So most important, the Swedish Corporation lacks the modern way of thinking, resulting in slower construction. Oh, okay, I see. A simple look at the regional highways show us a problem. Uh, the problem. The regional highway system has, uh, has no relation to this. Uh, they do have a, we uh, a wealth of knowledge into infrastructure, though. I, do, uh, I don't agree with the negative statements to, uh, to this company. Their record clearly shows completed contracts with thousands of employees who have more than 20 years of experience. According to the prelim uh, preliminary calculations, they wouldn't need more resources to finish a project of this size. Oh, I don't know that. I'm not willing to give them more resources. I'm low as it is. I'm low enough. I'm on the fence. I like, but I don't I want to hear about the others. I, I'm on the fence about them. I'm, I'm on the fence, to be honest. Uh, under all construction. The real estate and construction giant was founded in blah, 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 1925. Picking a corporation would fit our market economy policy. Okay, so it does fit our market economy. All right, so these are the guys I kind of want to go for anyways. Mayor Conrad, he sold his half his share. I had, w I had to work with the under all construction before Onsworth. It took several contracts for the central station renovation and left much to be desired. The H3 project shouldn't be left with, uh, to them. I would like to, uh, to have your thoughts on that, Simon. I think that they have been uh, doing relatively well in the, re in the private sector, where they are dominating the construction industry with the successful projects. Nonetheless, they treated their workers below our working standards during the old source central, uh, central station contract, which is troubling. Okay, so worker conditions are not uh, really good with them. Uh, must be respected. This doesn't inspire confidence. Exactly. I agree. The workers were un undocumented uh, and Agnolan and Wizek immigrants with no papers, a clear violation of our laws. According to them, the reason of bad labor conditions was because of the tight completion schedules, which still doesn't justify the situation. Underhall has specifically mentioned their solid track record and highlighted that the cost of the project would be more than accepted, expected for a project of this scale, but finished on time. Uh, I'm not sure about them either. Yeah, I'm not sure about them. All right, so uh, what about the Taurus holding? Uh, was founded in 1946 and is owned by the entrepreneur uh, Gerald Feiss. It is, uh, it is a new holding company with subsidiaries odds uh, use cutting edge technology for Arcasia to reduce construct construction costs and prices. They are known to provide for their workers uh, who are part of the labor union for the uh, they, they, uh, There are other things Torres does very well, like providing consultants for the state corporations, but I can't vouch for an inf infrastructure, uh, constru infrastructure construction at all. Uh, why should we pick them though? It, it, it would fit our election promises of switching to a free market. Awarding contracts to privately owned compra, compra corporations would be a step in the right directions. All right, I kind of, I want to go for Taurus then. I think they're good, right people. Taurus has completed fewer projects than the other companies. However, they are slightly faster and cheaper. It won, se it, it won several awards internally for being one of the fastest growing and advanced companies. The end of it is access is re it's refreshing, especially if we can de if they can deliver. There we go. They were on they were only involved in smaller scale regional projects. This doesn't prove their capabilities for larger undertakings that are more complex. Well, I'm we gotta give them a, a chance to prove uh, to to see uh, to see if they're good at it or not. The project manager for Taurus Holding mentioned that they would be able to finish the project with the allocated funding. They are the only company who founded a budget sufficient, making them a cheaper alternative. Okay, good. 
Well, Taurus is definitely worth considering. I have settled on Taurus, yeah. I'm taking Taurus for sure. It's definitely the best option. It's during the new world, so the, the, the new visage, the, the new uh, the new face. I think uh, they need they have a new mine on things. They can build faster and for a cheaper price. Uh, good that we are staying consistent to our economic uh, strategy. Of course, we're going to stay consistent. Uh, Simon started the uh, signed the extension section of the dossier and fixed his glass. Very well, Mr. President. The contract uh, will be awarded to Taurus Olden. I wish the outcome of the meeting was different, but at the end of the day, the success of the project is what matters. The company will be notified in, uh, today and the construction work will begin immediately after. I think we are off uh, to a good start. There we go. My expectations for a grand opening ceremony are late next year. I better get uh, back to work then. Thank you. This concludes the meeting. There we go. They leave. It was, the ni it was nice to enjoy the natural beauty of England and to eat some good fish. All right, boys. So we did that. Uh, we went pretty good. The highway project is on the way. It's ongoing right now. It's starting to be being built up. Taurus is getting uh, handling it. I rejected the bribe from the oligarchs. Which, uh, they wanted me to give the contract to Underhall. The construction contract was awarded to Taurus. Yeah, Taurus was by far the best option right here, boys. I didn't like. There was no other options than them. It was the old guards that I could have went for, but. No, no, there's no way I would have ever gone to Underhaul because they they are mistreating, mistreating their employees and stuff, and plus they're illegal. So uh, I'm not gonna allow that. All right, so we got a couple of things. Uh, we're gonna read. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna interact with all of them in the next video. Got a lot of stuff happening in this one as well. Freedom from the press, all this good stuff. We're starting to really being uh, do some good stuff right here. So I'm going to keep it as it is for now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.